talked about how Soren had not been necessarily up to his former self, but still had the potential to carry in the past. Let's see, they continue shutting it down as Kikis is caught. In comes the Shen. Ooh, was Bimbo! Oh. that got caught instead! Power of Evil, a double kill for him! They're caught in the storm of chaos, but it doesn't matter. Getting off dives and, and quick rotations with this uh, Sivir as well. This time round, Frederick's nearby. Amazing and so has looked to engage. Equalizer comes out and Frederick knocks Amazing under the tower. Whirlip overheats and sinks Amazing for a reply kill. Audrey, he's actually rocket jumped forward. Niels is the one that's been exhausted and Audrey forced to flash defensively. Niels now flashes aggressively. Ought to attack after ought to attack. Summon a heal comes down. Mithy goes in. He manages to get the mines out with a boomerang secures the Behind kill. Him. Here comes the teleport. Peppy's come in from the middle lane. He's looking for Niels. He will not find him. Second Take one. teleport. Whirlip wants to play. A new challenger rises and he and is dead. not successful. Giants, your teleports are so Uncoordinated. Pippinero comes in first. He dies. Then Whirlip is like, okay, I'm a few seconds late. I'm going to join now. We mentioned in Picks and Bands how Spin was able to disrupt Gambit's chances. Maybe he could work out. Going to look for an engage. Parallel Convergence. This oh, might nice be a stun. stun. And it catches Betsy out. The Chaos Storm will burn Betsy down. Betsy could have flashed W, I believe. And he didn't. He saved until after when he'd already been poked down so low. That was a mistake for him. Diamond, though, he's going to go in for the gang. And oh! Three minutes! I demand a replay of that! Simon was 1-0-2. He had 100% kill participation in 15 minutes. It's not something we've seen. Fox has picked the fight with Cabo or vice versa, and Fox is going to get dumpstered. Cabo Victor joining in now. It's five members from SK. They just used quite a lot of that. Fine. No, he oh, got you again! Lost breath! A double kill for Cabo Shot, and he wants more! He's going to keep sweeping that blade across. He's going to find himself another with the help of Gambit. Killing spree shut down by Fox, but it does not matter. An ace for one! And this time he even said it on himself. Odom had control of the wave, could recall, and then timed this dive here very effectively. It might not be over yet, Pyro. Yeah, we had that flash, and in comes Gankos now. Lulex is the one who gets hooked. They throw in the sapling. Flash away from Lulex. Going for him. Yankos wants to finish him off. He's going low, but he gets the kill. Flashes, takes Survive. the lantern, the juke. Still alive. Shock blast intercepted by Vander. Steve and nice play. hanging out. Good play. Amazingly played to save it. Vander setting up everything. Oh, oh one oh. more! He's got Kasing in range! He lives though, just barely. Need to act fast. Started the dragon already here. Rocket is going in. Hook onto Lulex. Is that the one you want though? Equalizer's down. Yankos going to steal it. Yanko manages to stop Aspect. Can they win the fight though? Lulex going down. And Oda Wande might be getting out. Kasing getting chucked, but it's Rollins who goes down. Yankos, Rollins both down, but Lulex had already melted. Kasing picks up a double kill there. They look for Steve. Can they find him? Shut down. Nuke Duck manages to take out Yarnin. And in comes Steve to his doom. Oda Wande, one bit of sapling. Double kill. Stopling. How about a touchdown there? Nuke Duck and Kasing, the only ones on the map now. Come on, Kasing, fight him. You have Tibbers. Be a man. Tibbers is going in, but Nuke Duck's going in faster. Kasing, there's lasers. There's a flash. Nuke Duck gives up on this one. On to Galio. Betsy flashes and dashes. He gets out of harm's way. Forgiven, however, may not be so lucky. The big rocket comes out. Forgiven's going to flash away from it. Immediately, heal is off. Oh. Booster Pepper can't connect as Frederick goes right in front of him. Collateral damage. Audrey almost goes down, but gets excited in the end and gets out with a kill. On the tower, won't be enough as Godfrey comes around the side. Idol of Duran for Whirlib, and he picks Hello. off Betsy. How about that damage? Looks for Forgiven, gets blown back. It is a one-for-one one there, but the jungler was already gone. Now, looking for Gosu Pepper and Cabo Shard. Audrey gets himself another. Gosu, the rockets are flying. A double kill for Jinx. Forgiven dashes the wall, tries to lay down a smoke to cover his escape, and he can't do it. Triple kill, and that's an ace for Giants Gaming. Giants kept defensive pink walls in the jungle. That spotted Diamond. He was trying to sneak around him, see if he can get a flank. Approach the Brummelback pit. Wait, taps. It's not over yet. Power of Evil's going in. Power of Evil's going to kill. Tabs. Yeah. They've survived so long right now, so they don't spot anybody there, so Huni knows he may get spotted. Soaz knows that Huni's in there now. Solance comes up, Soaz continues to chase. He's burning through his mana pool though. Look at Amazing. Flash forward from Yellow starts to get Eye of the Storm down. They're looking for more. Soaz gets knocked up. Look at the mine. Monsoon to knock Amazing and Mythi away. Yellow Star's in trouble. One more Eye of the Storm. Gold 
card from Peke. He finds himself another Maybe. kill. Fnatic are slowly closing in the gap. Huni stays alive. The tower's focusing amazing. One more shield. Huni dancing around. Huni Hodini survives that somehow. Reckless shows up. Peke is low. Chaos everywhere. And this is, this is what you can't do against Fnatic. You have to play your fights perfectly. Beautiful mechanical play on both sides. Reckless once more doesn't find it. Phoenix has been, just been doing a phenomenal job in this entire split. As a whole, he's been such a huge threat. You can see oh. they're trying to fight here. Dom, a little too far forward. Piglet, a little bit of damage peel. onto him, but they disengage nicely. Oh, oh wow, Soothie comes in huge. They start to delete Team Liquid. TDK was looking for this fight the entire time. They got a little too confident on the side of Team Liquid. And TDK takes a grab, of, takes a hold of that advantage. They still have waves to clear. That top wave was huge, and they can do some damage control off of that. That's a dead turret. We figured the turrets would go down pretty quick. Eight minutes for the first one in the bot lane. Zion Spartan actually getting it taken to him in the top lane here by Flares. He gets very, very close. Even turret. What? Okay. Maybe just thinking Zion Spartan didn't really have. A little boost in gold for C9. Oh. Funny oh. Fuku does have ultimate as well. Keen this does not. They don't have vision of their own jungle, and that's exactly where Cloud9 was coming out of the woodwork right now against Gravity. Sneaky on the top side. Nobody's even focused on him. 100% HP, and he's still firing shots in. There comes the double. That's the triple for Sneaky. No eyes on the vein, and he's coming up big. More kills coming in for him. Actually, he only got the double. There was an assist before, but it looks like he could get the triple. Are they going to follow? They do not. High's trying to actually cut him off on the top side. You will have the chase coming in. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh baby! Got him. got him indeed. They will be a triple kill for Sneaky, and things just got turned around. Really, really good Azir wall there. Uh, bouncing around Santorin, wasn't able to get anything off before he gets oh. taken down. Oh, Yen Q is for the one on one. Up. Oh, close. Summoner heal. One more auto. Got him. Flame nice. Flame jumpers were. Yeah, he, he backwards, missed those. By the way, he uh, he panic e in his yeah. house in the wrong spot. Very big lead in terms of combat power. But they will TP in Dyrus. He dodged with the home guard. Hooks in Kelly Trolls. Fight has begun. Nian's safe in the back line, though. And in comes Porpoise. They knock around for Bjergsen, getting a lot of damage done. And it's a dive towards the back line. But really, these guys can't help. Bjergsen's still alive. No one else really hitting him. Finally, the hook comes in. The shutdown through for Kelly Trolls. Dyrus falls as well. A two for zero. But Turtle doing a lot of damage. He's got some help from Shen. But is it really going to be enough? Nope. Bounce house into the wall. Can't kill Dota Wake. Gets just enough shields. A three for zero. Santorin forced to recall and T. Teammate have control. Everyone on average, besides the junglers, are 2,000 gold down and the supports. Ouch. Yeah, 2,000 to so, 3, I mean, you're, you're like, okay, they need to make a really desperate play, but look at this. Your solo laners getting 100%. Oh, he got him stunned on the third. Oh, time to go. Oh, he, he, go. Down. he goes down. They got the kill. Minions OP. Takes it in. That was a solo kill for... A little boost in gold for C9. Oh. oh. Funny Fuku does have ultimate as well. Keen this does is C9. not. They don't have vision of their own jungle, and that's exactly where Cloud9 was. Coming out of the woodwork right now against Gravity. Sneaky on the top side. Nobody's even focused on him. 100% HP, and he's still firing shots in. There comes the double. That's the triple for Sneaky. No eyes on the vein, and he's coming up big. Not High's trying to actually cut him off on the top side. You will have the chase Wee! coming in. Oh! 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 oh, oh got baby! Him. Got him indeed. They will be a triple kill for Sneaky, and things just got turned around. Duo roam up to try and get that speed boosted Rengar ultimate for the Oriana yep. play that we we're looking for, but Helios! Woo! Quite. Few flashes. High still gets into a bad spot here. That's the shockwave. Gamsu throws down the cataclysm and flashes out. Helios forced to safeguard. High throwing down a few, but he doesn't have his ability maxed out to get that lockdown on his bola. Maybe now they hit it on the shifter. More follow-up damage. Gamsu back in with a flag and drag once more. Helios still trying to fight, but they're all way too low. And they baited each other in. They miss it. But the command oh, move. Able to take it down with Lemon's hit on the Q as well. Beautifully done by Cloud9 to keep scratching. No. Yeah. <laughs> that would be quite a while. Aaron making 
Too right. many moves. A lot of defensive warding as well from TSM. Understandable. Tyrus, though, going to have to flash here. A special follows He it. still hits it with the outside of Tabers. Tyrus puts on the Vengeful Maelstrom, and it's only to stay alive a bit longer. But Liquid's able to pick up that kill, and Phoenix also gets a piece of it. Turtle should be able to get bottom turret for this, just because he's a Jinx left alone at, a, at an outer turret. My question is, what will... Ooh, there's the question to answer. TS, or, uh, T, TSM going to have to answer this Baron. Turtle's coming up, also watching to see if the rocket comes in. He's prepped the bottom turret to fall due to minion damage. And it looks like Turtle will hold it. The team's Ooh. also trying to retreat here as they trade damage. Back nice onto Baron. Back onto a special. They may be way too low to do this. 3, They're chancing the 50-50. This is the moment they seem they've been trying to stop, but now have fixed themselves into. That's Turtle a big grit. explosive cast. Turtle gets one. He's on the side of Baron, which could be dealing damage to him. But Baron actually deagros the double kill for Turtle. He hits another rocket. Dyrus out of range after coming up from being dead. The Righteous Glory, the triple coming in. No, Pearson picks up kill number three is this now their baron yes it is rib yes it is tsm waiting for the one team fight once again and team liquid handed to them on a silver platter they start up the baron just because turtles bottom you are not late game yet this is only 26 minutes in you can't burn through this baron an 80 carry being bottom oh, oh my god he <laughs> stole it Piglet comes up with a big one steal Uh, all right, Rip. So the plan that I listed before of win a team fight, grab Baron, then push in to win. All right. Well, TSM regaining positioning on mid lane, but Dyrus takes a half of his life in magic damage. <laughs> oh, this is from the other side. Quas is right on the chopper, so not an immediate initiation. Depth charge over. Pops up to Lust Boy and Dyrus both in the air. Dominate. Whoa. Dominate. Very tanky. It takes DSM a long time to kill him. Giving the rest of Team Liquid to start firing down. A double kill now coming in for Phoenix. Piglet also getting a double kill for himself. They're looking for Lust Boy. They don't even need to find him that's, to get that that's kill. That's easy, Baron. That's going to be Baron, and it will be Team Liquid's second of the game. Dragon's up in a minute and 45. It might still be a contest for that, but they're happy to get this and push the lanes. Yeah, let's... The only question is, how many turrets can they get out of this Baron? I didn't know that damage reduction worked against true damage. Uh, but in we'll this case, I believe it does, but here we go on in. Pump up the down to half, gets the Zonia's pop after Zonia's. the 80 carry. Ninja's around, Aphromoo very, very low, but Kez pushed around. The Roots come in, double gets one kill, he jumps in! He gets the kill and flashes and jumps out, but he burns down to the Ignite. Uh -huh. Now he life steals back up! It's just a two for zero!